Yo, 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 what's going on? Um, Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TVKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Um, today, this is gonna, not going to be a super long video, but it's a tip for you guys and something for you guys to watch as you buy puppies, as you look at your puppies. It's something that I've noticed more and more in this breed, and I'm talking about the dexterity of the rear end, and basically you can call it flexibility, you can call it the way, that, you know, whatever, the flexibility, the motion, and the way that the butt moves, whatever. Um, this is very important, and one of the reasons it's very important is I notice a lot of dogs in this breed either do that bunny hop thing to where they're just hopping in the rear end, hopping in the rear end. They don't have a good, like, you know how it's supposed to move side by side, boom. Boom, 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 alternating. They don't have that. A lot of times, that signal that signals a problem when they can't uh, when they can't you know uh, fully function both legs. You know more of the uh, hopping motion. Sometimes it's uh, it's tightness in the ligaments. Could be possible torn ligaments. A lot of times it's hip issues. It could be straight stifle. But anytime you affect the uh, true dexterity of the of the rear legs, especially, you'll notice a hop, or you'll notice a very almost like, for lack of a better term, Frankenstein Frankenstein type of walk in the back to where they're very very sort of wobbly because they can't bend. The flow of a good uh, gait comes from bend, you know, just like a run, you know. If, if you don't have good dexterity and you can't bend, your, your hips don't flow good, the knees don't flow good, it, it changes your motion a lot. And in a lot of these dogs, we're seeing more and more to where they look very stiff in the rear. Uh, one of the reasons for the high rears, but the motion is just not there. If you think of a show pony, that's similar to the way that you want your dog's legs to function. Now, we're talking about something that's bigger. But if you think of a show pony, you think of them, they still have that thing. The legs are moving like this. They're not. <laughs> I know that's childish, but that's it, though. The back legs should be one of those deals. It shouldn't be boom, 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 and they're jumping. You know, that's a, that's a signal of a problem if the dog cannot move you know, with uh, with both legs and he just has to hop with them or, you know, or you notice that stiffness. You want to see bend in the knee. You want to see that dog have the ability to look like it can change directions. I notice with a lot of bullies, they can't really change directions well because they don't have a bend. As you know, even when we're running, if you try to turn and you try to break down, or you, you know, for your football players or your basketball player type people, when you want to change directions, you break down, you know. You don't stand straight up and try to cut. No, you break, you know what I mean? You put that foot in the ground, the knee bends, you know what I mean? All the torque, you know, uh, uh, comes up through the hips and now bam, you know, from the butt right back down to the foot, you're out of there. You know, it's the same with a dog. Foot, the, 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 the power should be transferred, you know, originally from the change of motion. It stops in the foot, comes up, gets to the uh, to the buttocks area, and the buttocks drives the force right back down to the foot, and it propels its way off. When it's stiff, it can't do that because there's no, there's no transfer of energy. The transfer of energy would only come through that, bu the, that bend and the ability for the uh, muscles to, fi uh, to fire. Without a bend, the muscles can't fire. Without that, you'll run into the things like the CCL injuries or for what we call ACL injuries, you'll end up with a lot of ligament injuries. And I made videos about this before and I'm just telling you guys, the unnatural motion will eventually destroy the joints. It will start in the feet, it'll lead to the knee injuries, and eventually it'll wear down, you know what I'm saying, the socket of the hip. Because it's the, the they're not designed to move stiffly. So now you have that power that was supposed to be generated through the muscles and transferring to the feet. A lot of that energy is being jammed into joints that are not meant for that. Joints are things that sort of pass energy. They don't they don't they're not meant to transfer. You're not you don't you don't want to land. You know, think of us. If we jump in the air, we don't want to land with our knees straight. You know what I mean? So if you jump up in the air, when you land, your knee is bent because the shock and the energy transfer is going into proper places. If that knee was straight and you landed, you'd hurt your knee, you would hurt your hip. This is what we're dealing with with the dogs now. 
transfer of energy needs to be dealt with properly. If that leg is is um is straight, it can't do it. And it's going to and within, you know, 18 months, you'll see significant damage and very, very bad movement and possible, you know, hip replacement, CCL, um, which, you know, at this point in time, you just put a dog down if they got, if they got a bad hip. But, um, <clears throat> you know, ligament tears, amongst other things, it's, it's just a bad situation for them. So as you pick out your puppies, as you pick out your uh, older dogs, your studs that you might use, pay close attention to how their rears is. Now, I will say this, as uh, when it comes to the puppies, it's a little different. They sometimes just don't have coordination. So they will do that hop, but watch to see if the puppy can bend and when it slows down, does it just, you know, does it go back to the flow or does it has to hop even when it walks? If it has to hop when it walks, you probably have a problem. But puppies are good for that little bunny hop when they get, you know, when they get excited because of coordination, but they should be able to go back to a point to where the legs, you know what I'm saying, are working properly. But I just thought I'd get that out there. A lot of people send me questions and ask me about, you know, how do I do this or that when I'm evaluating getting a puppy? And that that's one of the things. Now, for a lot of people who get puppies from me, I'll evaluate that myself because one thing about it is I'm not going to sell you a puppy that's stiff in the rear. You know what I mean? Now, it could a puppy could develop and get stiff later, but definitely if I see it in a puppy and they, they're just very stiff back there, that's not good and they're probably not going to last long so we would have to get rid of that but unfortunately good breeding means that doesn't happen a lot but uh hopefully this video helped you out some uh, i'll holler at y'all later much love peace